In addition to the offset command, there are also some other commands that are helpful when you start to draft up um, information. And these ones, these series of ones, uh, trim and extend, uh, work a little bit differently than the offset, but they're also very, very common um, modified commands to use. So essentially, if we have this up to this point, we have a lot of intersecting lines, okay? And so what we want to do is we want to start to trim those out so we can use the trim command in order to do that. So I'm going to type in TR for trim, okay? And with these series of commands, what they're looking for is when you start to see um, how AutoCAD is talking back to you, what it's saying down below by the command line is it's saying select the cutting edges. So the way that the trim works is that it's cutting objects off of other objects. Okay, so there's a couple ways that we can do the trim command. There is the way in which we can select essentially our cutting edge. Okay, and once we do that, we can select multiple two as well. It doesn't have to be one. We can um, hit enter. And then it's going to ask us to select the object to trim. So I'm going to uh, select objects to trim. Okay, but as I said, you can use more than one. So if I want to take out this little portion of this construction line below, okay, I can again use my trim command and I can select both of these to be my cutting edge, hit enter to get into the next step of that command, and I can trim that little bit out. Okay, so the way that these commands work is that you have to be a little bit strategic in which cutting edges you use in order to get the result. And it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but this again is one of those com uh, commands that I use a lot. Okay, I use it about a thousand times a day. Um, so that's the trim command. Um, just, you know, off to the side to show you, you know, again, just another example of what it can do. I just drew a line and drew another series of lines. So again, if I type in trim, hit enter, select my cutting edge, Okay, I can cut these pieces off of it as long as they intersect that cutting edge. Okay, I just erased all of those. Um, the another one is the extend tool. Okay, um, and what it does, and I'm just going to show you off to the side, is that essentially if I have two lines and I want to extend one to the other, okay, as long as they hit each other eventually okay then you can extend them if it doesn't work okay it doesn't meet it basically means AutoCAD just saying they're never gonna meet up so I can't extend them to each other so if I type in EX for extend okay now what it's asking me is rather than sele selecting my cutting edge like in trim it's saying select my boundary edge okay and so basically your boundary edge is the edge that you want to extend Two. So if I select this as my boundary edge, and again, you can have more than one, hit enter to get into the next part of the command, and now it's going to ask me what is the object that I want to extend and select that. So I'm going to select this object and then hit escape, and now these two meet. When you do select, um, you know, if I go back a little bit, and all I did is I hit undo, um, but if you go to extend what you need to do is if I type in extend again okay first you know select my cutting object hit enter and now I'm going to select the object to extend okay basically if I select it on this side okay it's not going to do it because it's not really sure what edge you want to extend okay so in this case you have to kind of uh, select it towards the end Okay, it doesn't have to be exact, you don't have to go exactly on the endpoint, um, but as long as it's clear to AutoCAD that you want to extend this edge, okay, just make sure that you have your cursor more towards that edge than more, you know, than the middle or the other edge, so that it doesn't get confused. Okay, so when we start to um, put together a plan, okay, so I'm going to just erase these guys real quick, and if I'm treating these as walls, and this as the corner of my space, what I want to do is I want to extend this line down in order to get that corner. So I'm going to type in EX for extend. I'm going to use this as my boundary edge. Okay, hit enter. And I'm going to select that edge to bring down. Okay, so that theoretically I can erase this line and I can trim this line from this cutting edge. So I'm going to select this as my cutting edge 
hit enter, select the object to trim, and hit enter, and now I have the corner of my uh, space. Um, so what I want to do now is I essentially want to map out the interior of the space. So I'm going to offset, and let's say uh, I want the interior to be 10 feet. So I can offset it 10 feet that way, and if I want it to be a square, okay, I can offset it 10 feet in the other direction too. Now you'll find that again this is the drawing limits that gets in your way. So if I do a zoom extends, I should be able to break that, okay, and then just zoom into that area again. So I'm going to use my offset again to create, I'm going to say six inches to create these outer walls, and I'm going to offset this object up and this object off to the side. Again, because they're both six inches, I don't have to um, get yeah, you know, to end the command and get into it again, I can just basically use the command over and over again. And I'm going to hit escape. And then to trim out these edges here, I'm going to type in trim, okay, or TR or the buttons right up here in the modify panel. And what I can also do is I can actually select these intersecting edges, okay, lines. Um, and I can trim those out from each other. So what I did is I selected both of those as the cutting edge. Okay, I didn't go into the second tier of the command, um, but I selected both of those lines as a cutting edge so I can trim them off of each other. So if I hit enter to get into the second tier of the command, now I can click on those edges, okay, and trim them off of each other. Same thing for this. And in that case, I just use my selection, my green selection tool, in order to um, use uh, that to select those edges. So what I'm also going to do down here is I'm going to extend, okay, I just typed in EX for extend, and I use this as my boundary edge. I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to extend this outer line to that edge so that I can use my trim. Okay, and all I did is I just, uh, through that series, okay, I trimmed, uh, you know, this line out, and then I hit right-click, okay, I tend to use right-click a lot, and I reset the command, okay, or re uh, renewed the command, and then I trimmed out this edge here. And I'll do the same here. And sometimes, you know, I might just choose everything, and then just trim that out, and erase that guy. Okay, again, it just depends on how you tend to use it. And then I'm going to use extend, select that as my boundary edge, hit enter, and extend that line. And once I'm done, hit escape, and then I can trim that line from the other one. So if you followed me, you should come up with a, a model that looks like this. Now, what also we can do is if I have two open corners, okay, so I'm just going to do this off to the side. If I have two open corners of a building, okay, or a space, and I want to join them up, okay, what I can use is what's called the fillet command. And the uh, alias for that is F, okay, and you'll see that it's actually up in your toolbar too as well. And what the fillet command does is it does just that. It calculates where these two are going to meet, and it will meet those corners up. So if I type in F, for fillet, what it's going to ask me is it's going to ask me to select my first object and then my second object, and it'll figure out where they meet. Okay, and then I can offset that, you know, six inches and six inches, and I can trim the inside off of it. Okay, what you can also do with fillet is if I have, I'm going to turn my ortho on two lines like this, <clears throat> I can actually get these lines to meet, but um, what I can do is I can actually get, to, get them to meet with a rounded edge. So if I type in fillet, before I do anything, if you look down in the sub options, there's an option for radius. So I'm going to type in R for radius, and I'm going to say, well, I want them to meet with a six inch radius. So I'm going to type in six, uh, you know, inch sign is optional. And then I'm going to select my first and my second, and you'll see that now it fillets it with a 6-inch radius. Now, what happens is if I actually go back into that command, okay, you'll see that the current settings down above the um, command line say that the radius is still set at 6 inches. So if you want 
to, you know, so for example, if I have these two lines and I do the fillet command again, and I do this, you know, select one, select the second, and then I'm like, wait, I don't want to have a rounded edge here, a rounded corner here. Um, what happens is that fillet always remembers that until you change it back. So keep that in, in the back of your mind when you're starting to work like this. So what I have to do now is I have to go back into the fillet command. Okay, and then I have to call up the radius again and then turn that back to zero. Okay, um, I'm going to just get rid of that guy because that's a separate object. So that now when I do that, you can see that now my radius is zero and you don't have to, you know, escape and go back. I just did that because I wanted to erase that corner so that it's a blank corner. Um, but what you can do is you can, you know, again, go to radius, you can change it to zero, and then you can go click on one and then the other, and it'll reset it back to where it was.